Okay, so here's the thing. In three days, I'll have an exam in a course called Gravitation and Cosmology. That will be my third exam in a six-day period. I've not opened the book yet, and uh, at this point it stands between taking the class next year instead, or I can try to go all in over the next few days. The course material seems really, really fun, and I have nothing to lose by trying, so from now on, at 4 p.m. May 28th, until the exam starts at 9 a.m. May 31st, I'll basically try to learn gravitation and cosmology in 65 hours. I have no idea how this will work out. Uh, this might become a video about me bragging about an ECA, uh, or it might become a video about uh, how miserable a student I can be. The stakes have never been higher. As the villain of the best Norwegian movie of all time likes to put it, team will show. Okay, so I just did this really cool exercise. There's a girl running with a pole uh, that's 20 meters long, and she's running so damn fast uh, that the pole appears to be only 10 meters long for an outside observer. So she's running into a barn that's 10 meters long, you close the door after her, she's inside there for an instant, then you open the back door and lets her through. Now, uh, for the girl, the pole is still 20 meters long, while the barn actually appears to be just 5 meters long. So how can that fit inside the barn? There's some kind of paradox there. So, I'll let you wonder about that for a second while I'll uh, go get some dinner. Oh, hi. Uh, okay, so obviously there's not a paradox at hand here, because the universe really, really hates those. Uh, so what's actually happening is that this door is opening before this one closes. Um, so by the time this door closes, she's already 50 meters out on the other side, and that's it. It's uh, 2.30, and even though I really like uh, reading at this hour, I think it's uh, time to go to bed. It's uh, been a really good day, actually. I, it started with an, an exam in solid state physics uh, that went quite okay, I think. Uh, then I started reading for this thing, I started making this video. Uh, I had a short break uh, uh, to see some uh, some friends from high school and watching the penalties of the Champions League final. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot depends on what I can manage to do tomorrow, I think. So uh, it will be a tough day for sure. Uh, good night. Okay, it's, uh, it's day two. There's been approximately 24 hours since I started. There's uh, 41 to go until the exam. Uh, I'm going through all the exercises in this course. There's 14 sets in total, and I've been running through six of them so far, relying heavily on the solutions. There's been a lot of uh, critical boiling, as we say here in Trondheim. Uh, my wrist is starting to, uh, to act up. I've been writing a lot, uh, but that surely won't cause any problems, will it? No, no, definitely not. I, I, I don't think so. Until now, it's been mostly about uh, relativity theory, uh, a lot of calculations between different systems of space-time, my favorite time. I haven't really come to the parts with uh, black holes and wormholes and all that sort of cool stuff yet, but uh, I'm getting there, I hope. Wormholes, I'll be there soon, I promise. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do a montage. Okay, so now we're talking. Uh, I just read a task that goes like this. An observer crosses the event horizon of a black hole. What's the longest time he can spend there before being destroyed by the singularity? So day two has come to an end. Uh, it's uh, 1 a.m. Uh, 32 hours left until the exam. And I've uh, gone quickly through all the exercises, mostly just reading through the solutions. Uh, so I can't say I have a good understanding of everything. Uh, but I'm starting to get the sense of what the course is about, and uh, I have seen the entire curriculum, so in theory it should all uh, be in here inside my mind palace. Or, no, let's not call it a mind palace, that sounds too, too royal in a way. Uh, let's call it like a mind cabin, or a mind tent, a mind igloo, or a mind uh, bat cave. Seriously, what's with this guy? Mind spaceship, mind uh, grand hotel. Uh, or maybe... No, that's it. I'm out of IDs. Good night, peeps. Okay, it's day three. Uh, the plan for today is to go slowly through all the exams that are available online. 
uh, and I hope I can really uh, recognize some things from yesterday and make sure I understand things this time. Uh, of some reason, there's only two exams available online, they're from 2007 and 2008, but I have a secret weapon because uh, one of my flatmates had this course uh, last year, and he kept his, uh, his exam sheet and the copy of his answers. So hopefully there will be some similarities between last year's exam and this exam. It's, uh, it's 11 a.m. by the way, I got a little bit slow start uh, this day, uh, but at least I'm, uh, I'm rested, I'm fresh, and I'm ready to go. One thing I really like about this course is uh, it just feels so grand in a way. In other courses you might calculate like the wave function of a particle that's moving through a potential, uh, you might uh, find the temperature of an air parcel that's moving from hair to hair, uh, but in this course you might find that, okay, this expression is greater than 1, which means that in this particular universe there was no initial Big Bang singularity, and you're just like, whoa, dude, what did I just calculate? It's uh, Monday today, which means uh, there was an episode of Game of Thrones coming out tonight. Uh, the last episode, I won't spoil anything, I promise, so don't worry. Uh, the last episode was The Door, which had some of the awesomest moments of the series so far, I think. Uh, and I really want to see this episode now, but it will take almost an hour, so I think I'll save it for tomorrow. Uh, and at least that gives me another reason to stay off Twitter and Facebook, because I guess those places are swarming with spoilers right now. I just made some uh, some bread. It's a perfect thing to do while reading, because it's uh, basically just waiting anyways. Uh, and it's still warm, so the brown cheese is just melting on top of it. It's perfect. <sighs> so what triggered my interest in physics? Ah, great question. Uh, I liked uh, science and mathematics right from the start, and uh, when I had uh, the physics courses at high school, I just liked uh, how they changed the way I looked at the world. Uh, I would start seeing a car as so a just huge chunk of momentum going down the road. I would see a large acceleration vector going from the Earth and straight into the Sun, approximately. I would see energy transfers going on everywhere around me. Uh, and I just feel like uh, the more you understand about the universe, the more you can appreciate it in a way. Uh, maybe in, in much the same way that a painter can appreciate the Mona Lisa, uh, way much more than all the tourists who are there just to take pictures of it. There's the symbol for the cosmological constant. It's an upside down V. Uh, I just keep drawing it as an A. It's really annoying. It's uh, 1.30 at night, seven and a half hours left before the exam. Uh, the exam from last year uh, was by a different lecturer, so I've been mostly focusing on the ones from 2007 and 2008. Uh, hoping this one will be quite similar. Uh, I can in no way say that I've learned the course material. I don't know gravitation and cosmology. I'm sorry guys. Uh, so in that aspect this experiment has been a failure. Uh, but I might be ready for the exam if I'm quite lucky. Uh, so fingers crossed guys. See you tomorrow. It's uh, 45 minutes until the exam starts. It's uh, finally time to end this. Uh, just had some breakfast, and uh, I'm almost ready to go, just one thing remaining. Okay, so now I'm ready. course at least for now not really sure how the exam went it started out as a disaster I wasn't prepared for the exercises we got I was just about to give up but I tried to fight my way through I realized you could get quite far with algebra uh, so I think I managed to gather some points here and there uh, I might actually pass it will be very exciting to see in a few weeks when the results get back uh, yeah and I also want to mention that uh, these past few days have been a quite special time it's actually been a lot of fun, and uh, as I was sitting on the exam, I realized that I had actually learned something. Something had sunk in, and I was still learning while sitting there during those four hours. Uh, so I think if I end up taking the course again next year, uh, it will be a very good foundation to build upon. Uh, so I think it's been very good use of three days. I'm glad I did this. Uh, and now it feels like a little adventure is coming to an end. 
Now, let's do some time traveling, guys. Uh, it's now the 11th of June. A few days ago, I got an automatic email saying that the results are out. I have not checked them yet, but I will now. Uh, I haven't seen them before, so um, I'm probably uh, just as excited as you are, probably a bit more. Uh, let's see here if I just can find the results tab. Okay, yeah, uh, so I'm going into the results tab right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I actually got a D, uh, so I think uh, that's the best I could hope for. At least that was my feeling when I handed in the, the exam. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I have to say I'm quite happy actually. Uh, that means I don't have to take the course again next year. Uh, I might consider it just to improve the grade, but uh, if I want I can choose another course. Uh, so uh, yeah, maybe this experiment it wasn't such a failure after all. Uh, but don't try this at home because I might just have gotten lucky. Uh, but yeah, anyways, it's, uh, it's been a really good time making this video. I've learned a lot and I think uh, making the video uh, really made me focus more on the task at hand as well. Um, so thanks, see you around and uh, thanks for watching.